he wanted me to write the tale. But um, by this time, you know, I had a marriage, two kids, a mortgage, and danger had lost some of its allure. Um, it's a little difficult to go up against some of these large corporations, and you really have to know your P's and Q's, or watch your P's and Q's. So I put aside um, the lawsuit that Mark had sent me, but he was very charming. He kept calling every few months and calling. He'd tell me a joke. And then he'd spoon feed me sort of the basics of pharmacology 101. And I got hooked. He was a great salesman. But then, in 2007, the story exploded nationally because Congress was holding hearings on the deceptive sales practices of Amgen and Johnson & Johnson, while the FDA, a few doors away, was holding public meetings about the severe risks tied to these three drugs called Procrit, Epigen, and Aranesp. So I scraped together some money, and I hopped on a red-eye flight to Washington, D.C., and the next morning, in a very tiny stall in the bathroom of Dulles Airport, you know, I changed from my running togs into a smart suit and kind of slapped myself away. I get, on a, I get a taxi and go to Capitol Hill and walk into this packed meeting room where there's attorneys and patients and doctors, everyone sort of jostling for attention. And I saw this big, sweeping national drama sort of unfolding in front of me. Regulators had just slapped a black box warning on the drug, which is the most severe warning you can have before you yank it off the table or off the shelf.